from Portuguese man of war to lion's mane jellyfish, some very interesting creatures are in our waters in the summertime. And for more on this, I'm joined by marine ecologist Boris Worm. So yeah, lots out there. Um, let's start with the Portuguese man of war. What is it? I, I know it's, a, it's scarier than a jellyfish if you encounter it, right? Yeah, David Attenborough famously said, it's like a jellyfish, just more complicated and more sinister. Um, while that's a value judgment, they are fascinating. Um, we get them very rarely in our water. There's some evidence that they may be coming a little more frequently, but it's hard to say at this point. Um, the upshot is it's its own thing. It's like an alien that landed on our planet. Um, it's actually a colony of um, zoids, little animals that glue together to do what it does, growing these very long tentacles that of course have very powerful and poisonous stingers that we need to be aware of. Um, and they also form this raft or float that looks like a blue plastic bottle, if you will, with tentacles attached to it. It's very distinct. You can't mistake it for anything else. And it really is unlike anything else. And it sails across the ocean unlike any other jellyfish or plankton organism does. Wow. And, and now the lion's mane jellyfish, what makes them different than the ones that we, you know, typically see in, in the summertime here? Right. So the lion's mane jellyfish is one of the largest jellyfish there are. There has been one individual found, not in our waters, with a two meter bell diameter. Oh my so, you know, that's larger than me and tentacles up to 30 meters long, which the Portuguese man of war also does. They both can form, not always, but they can form these large tentacles that, again, we need to be aware of because they both sting. But the man of war packs a more powerful punch than the lion's mane, although I personally had a lion's mane swim in my face at my 13th birthday. No oh, joke. No. <laughs> it was no joke. I was allergic to it. It wasn't funny. Mm. So be aware of these animals. The lion's mane are very easy to see because they're red, and you just want to steer way clear of them. And the Portuguese man of war, again, is super rare. You're not likely to find one in the water, but if you see it on the beach, report it so it can be removed safely. Well, what if someone gets in a horrible situation like you did? Is it just straight to the hospital? Uh, well, if you if you find it's in the face or around your neck, probably yes, because if it swells up, it could pro have problems. Um, again, very rare. Um, there's few hospitalizations that do happen, um, but particularly with children, so you want to be on the safe on the safe side. Um, if you do get stung by a Portuguese man of war, you will know immediately because it's very painful. It looks like a whip. Um, across your arm or wherever you were stung. You want to remove the tentacle safely using gloves or a towel and you want to immerse it in hot water as quickly as possible. Not scalding but just normal hot because that uh, takes care of some of the pain and neutralizes it a little bit. So what else is out there that people might be kind of surprised to, to find? Well, there's lots out there because we do find we get more warm water parcels of the Gulf Stream spinning off and hitting our shores. Overall, the temperature is rising, particularly in the Gulf of Maine. So southern Nova Scotia, you would be more likely to find really weird and wonderful tropical creatures, most of them completely harmless, like butterfly fish, seahorses, um, trigger fish, those kinds of animals, just beautiful to look at. Don't do anything about them, just leave them be. A lot of them, unfortunately, will die as the temperature cools off in the fall. Um, but we do see um, more reports of those tropicals and subtropicals coming into our water, uh, which is interesting because it's sort of what we predict happening with climate change. Is there any concern about having these creatures mix with the native species in terms of damaging the ecosystem? Um, well, there are concerns that some of the species native to our range are not as happy anymore as so the temperature is warm and they might be migrating more northwards or going deeper and that will reshuffle the ecosystem, maybe more so than the new arrivals, although sometimes new species can become very successful and they can become invasives, although we haven't seen that in our waters uh, just yet, at least not with climate change. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're watching it and we actually devised an um, index that tracks changes in marine biodiversity diversity and how risky those changes are. Um, and we're trying to work with agencies to be on the ball to make sure we're aware when our waters are changing, how they're changing and what that means for us. Well, it's all very interesting and thank you for walking us through it. We appreciate it. Great to talk to you.